Good morning. It is quarter past nine on Thursday, the 26th of September, and it is time for today in my boo journal. So, how are you? Did you have a good day yesterday? Did you join us in the live? If you did, thank you. I really appreciate that. You guys know that because I tell you that all the time. I tell you how much I appreciate you. So, what did we do in the live if you didn't join us? Well, I opened some happy mail and there were quite a few bits in there that were really nice and a few bits that I'm thinking you know Christmas isn't that far away so don't go rushing out and buying things I tried a couple of punches which unfortunately did not go very well um, they ripped the paper up which I'm really upset about so they're gonna go back excuse me I've got a cough sweet in my mouth and then I had a go with my frame punch board and that was loads of fun and I did learn it says in the instructions when you cut your piece of paper to cut it cut the outside edge to the size that you want but you don't you've got to cut it a bit bigger because i was cutting this for a sprocket photo so this is the blue sheet that comes in at the bottom of each pack of sprocket papers the issue with it is is that bits stick out so you need to add a quarter of an inch so sprocket photos are three by two so you need to make cut your paper to three and a quarter by two and a quarter okay and when you've done that <coughs> and you then are able if i can find it you're then able to make a frame you just use a bit of tape or some glue and stick it down i just used um double-sided tape yeah just a very thin one um i do have a slightly wider one but i was a bit worried that it was it seems to be exactly the same this is the quarter inch frame they also do frames for half an inch three quarters of an inch and an inch i think what i am going to do is have a play with it at some point and look into how to make like um polaroid style frames so that there's space at the bottom that maybe i could write things on or stamp things even that would be quite cool so yeah that was fun what else did we do we got set up for october so i'm not i'm not done but i i did quite a bit so we did that i managed to pick up purple from somewhere and smear it i'm bloody livid so that's my calendar there's my tracker um look it's everywhere it's bloody purple that will be my card of the day this is my about me and my mood and pain spreads my sleep my steps my chore chart and then um, i've got a couple of blank pages for my wwe spreads that will go in here and then i'm ready to do week 40 in here which i might record a bit later i might do it tomorrow i don't know i've got to finish off my junk journal today so that everybody can see it because i promised so <laughs> let's get on put my pen down and i've probably lost it where did i put it there it is let's get on and get set up for the day <coughs> so yesterday i will some makeup i'm gonna do the challenge yeah it was hay there was no booze I had just over a can last night, so I'm not going to mark that off. Um, I had chips for lunch. Did I cough? No. I need to do about today. What did I do in about today? Mm. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm going to put the about today bit. I'm going, it rained so the garden didn't need my help. I'm just trying to encourage my passion flower to grow up the trellis rather than along the ground. <laughs> because it's just like, no, I don't want to hold on. So then I, <coughs> excuse me, I get it all wrapped up, you know, entwined around the um, trellis. And it seems quite happy and it will hold on and all that lot. 
and then a breeze comes along and it goes no and just properly collapses so if it doesn't stay with all the wind and rain we've had i'm gonna obviously have to get out there with my string and string the little bugger up <laughs> so yeah okay we did a card did i do this or something no i didn't do that right Uh, right, mood, yeah, do you know what? It was freaking awesome yesterday, really. I had a good day, I did some stepping, I took my kid out for lunch for his birthday. Daryl went down to the childminders after school and he had a fantastic time. So I think I might make that a semi-regular thing. She's a friend of mine and um, she had in the day of Stuart's funeral and he had such a good time down there because there's so much to do and um he's been nagging to go down there ever since it's been like over two months and he's still oh, i want to go to shelf's house i want to go to shelf's house her name's michelle and he calls her shelf <laughs> so um she said look you can come home you know one day after school i'll pick him up from school if you like awesome can you do it on the 25th and she said yeah yeah i think so and it turned out that she could so um she picked him up from school yesterday because he had a great time because i go down and pick him up and i get i don't want to come home because he doesn't he wants to stay there <laughs> and it's like well you know chef's gonna stop working in half an hour so you have to come home you know i don't want to i don't want to go home and you i don't like you and all this you know i get all that and i'm like lovely i feel so unwanted and i went down to pick him up yesterday and um he you know he fell over a few days back um, I can't even remember when it was actually. I stuck the thing in here. <coughs> Where was that? There you go. On the 19th, he fell over. Yesterday, six days later, he fell again. And the little wound that he had on his hand is now a deep fucking hole, basically, in his hand. Because he fell and pulled the scab out because it was still scabbed so he did and he's made his knees bleed so i get there and he's got plasters all over him and i thought well, you do don't you you're just like oh it should have been me picking you up but then again he'd done it at lunchtime and they hadn't caught me so you know but i was just like oh no when i got down there and he's he was he's feeling <sighs> he was feeling very pathetic you know you know like kids are you know they feel a bit pathetic don't they when they've hurt themselves he was like that and i, I just felt awful oh you poor little sod so I did 18,375 yesterday, not bad at all, talk talk. Um, so yeah, he came home and he was a bit, oh, I don't want to go home. And I was like, yeah, but your brothers are there. Because um, Matthew also came over yesterday. Matthew didn't come out for lunch with us because he was working. But he came up at three o'clock, or at four o'clock. So I said, well, you know, your brothers are at home waiting for you. I don't care, I don't want to go, <laughs> you know. So, oh, that was so funny. So he had a good day other than the fall and I managed to get the plasters off it off last night. Um, I, don't, I don't like plasters when they're not 100% necessary. I get it for, you know, a little bit while they're, um, if, if it's bleeding, but I don't agree with stick a plaster on it, stick a plaster on it every two seconds because they hurt to remove as well i had screaming ad dabs to try and get it off of him last night i was like come on we need to take the plaster off because i'm a firm believer in letting the air get to it because it will help it heal and all that lot and um matthew helped me get the one off of his hand which thankfully hadn't stuck very well due to obviously daryl moving a lot um but the ones off of his knees oh my god i'd scream and ad to get those off of him he really did not want me to take them off but um I did get them off and he was very brave and I gave him lots of cuddles. But he was very, very tired, bless his heart. But yeah, I hate plasters. I think they're bloody dreadful things. But I, can't, I can't find anything because I didn't put anything away after last night. So I don't know where all my pens are. Bless him. <coughs> Excuse me. And then last night i went live and it was brilliant because everybody came on and we all chatted and we had a really really good laugh and it's good because we we talk about so many different things um i know not everybody likes a live 
and not everybody watches live, but that's fine. But I've got quite a few people that I talk to regularly, and we have a little message group sort of outside YouTube. And we're all very supportive to each other, which is awesome, you know. Because we, we've all got problems, you know. We're all, we're all struggling with stuff. And it's nice to know that there's a support backup group for us. So, yeah, it got a bit got a bit emotional, I think, a little bit. But, you know, that's, that's cool. It was great. And then my son came back because he'd had an argument. Last night with friends. It was just, oh, fuck. But he's fine. He's okay. I went and I discussed with him what, what had happened and what could have happened and how he could have... Um, well, I don't need to make a frame punch board video now, do I? How he could have um, handled it a bit differently. Right, so we're all caught up. It's a shame because I love that colour and I just want to use it so much more. Oh, I need to do a... Uh, um... I don't really want to go onto another page because I've journaled and, and filled it up, so... I've been a mum for 28 years. That's what I was saying to people yesterday. Oh my god, I've been a mum for 28 years. Can't believe it. Okie dokie. Where are we? There we are. So today I have done the day face cream. I haven't got any makeup on. I don't know that I'm going to wear any today. Right. Card. That one today. That pessimistic feeling again, guys. Yeah, I had it here only a couple of days ago. So four days later, I pulled it again. But you're still being pessimistic instead of optimistic. So you need to change your outlook. Okay. I'm asleep at quarter to one. Slept pretty much all, you know, all of that. I didn't wake up needing the loo until pretty much after my alarm had gone off. Yes, my alarm went off and I snoozed it and I went back to sleep. And then I woke up needing the loo. And I thought, well, because I've got two alarms, I've got one on my phone, which I then turn off, and then 15 minutes later, my watch vibrates. But I knew my watch battery was low, and I woke up and I thought, shit, my watch battery didn't vibrate. Um, my watch didn't vibrate and it wasn't dead but I think it was low enough that it didn't do it so I was like a good thing I actually woke up needing the loo otherwise we'd have overslept and Daryl would have been next to school because boy I was tired <laughs> right what are we on what are we on what are we on it's Thursday I've cleaned the loo and I need to go up and get the laundry down Clean the banister and the bathroom. Okie dokie. What I'm going to do is some of these chores no longer need doing as often now that Alex isn't living here. But I'm going to copy this over as is. And I'm going to mark if the chore didn't need doing. I might just put a black, you know, colour that I checked it, but then put a black cross through it as in it didn't need doing. So that when I come to do the chart again in November, there'll be less tasks to do you know because it's stuff like the laundry doesn't need checking every day now maybe every other day I could check it um, the bathtub doesn't need cleaning twice a week because there's only me and Daryl um, and I rinse it out after Daryl's had a bath he literally just gets in and has a play and then gets out again with a little bit of bubbles you know um, I clean it after I've had a bath um, but then I have you know two three baths a week and it doesn't need cleaning every time so you know it's something that could be done less um, vacuuming doesn't need to be done as often I mean upstairs I could probably change that to once a month now instead of once a week you know so yeah I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to start marking them down and maybe use sticky notes or something to say this task could be done you know whatever so we'll see we'll see how it goes um
Where are we? We are here. Okay, so today uh, that happened. Prime video's gone out. I need to pay everybody. So I need to get some money out. Yeah, we didn't end up going to Austin's because I wasn't well and he's not available this week. Because his granny's coming to visit. Right, so let's move to there. Hang on, I've just got a message. I was recently asked um, about this stencil. The numbers are, um, so it was an inch and a quarter, was it? Yeah, they're about an inch and a quarter in, in height. Um, and there is a link down below, or well, there should be. But YouTube changed everything, so I don't know whether my own videos are coming up with the bloody link now, which is quite annoying, actually. Let's click that one on 24. Okay. <laughs> right. The link for this stencil is down below. Okay, if you... Go into the description, click show more, and it'll open up oh, a big long list of stuff that I use. Scroll down to stencils, and it's the last one on the list for this stencil. It's um, a US lady on Etsy. Um, if you're here in the UK, I recommend finding a US friend who would be willing to post it you know have it posted to you because she wants like about 12 pounds to post this which I just think is ridiculous it's so lightweight and so flimsy that you know you could stick it in just a regular envelope in between a couple of pieces of card and it would survive you know it's not like it's really mega <laughs> I mean, it, I actually think it's a little bit too thin, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah, if you're in the UK or Europe and you're after one of these, have a chat with an American friend, get it sent to their address, and then get them to post it to you. Now, oh, see how crap at tracing around stencils. It's because everything moves underneath where it's so bulky. Okay, so... Yeah, it would be cheaper to do it that way than it would try to get it up to you. Okay, let's have a look at... No, I don't want that. I want the date. The weather. Oh, my giddy arm. Okay, so we've got clouds with a wee bit of sunshine, apparently. Right. <clears throat> so we've got a high of 19, a low of 50... Sunrise was at 06.56 and sunset will be at 6.55. I'm also going to draw some rain on here because, you know, it's fucking raining. So, sort it out, weather app. Got up some morning. Pissing down. <laughs> okay, so we also need to know the word for the challenge, which is... Sweet potato, well that's not like a small word, is it? Fucking hell. Okay. Okay, there we go. We're done. I'm going to leave that there. I've got to take Mother out shopping to get the last bits on my fence. Um, because work starts for that in 18 days. And I don't know how long it will take me to deliver it. Oh, God. <laughs> you know how it is. So... I'm gonna go and get on with that and I just there's so much I need to do as well really I've got a list mile long and I've been ignoring it um, 
Let's have a look. Where do I put it now? There it is. I started the postcards, but I haven't finished them. They're sat here waiting to be done. And, uh, you know, I need to apply for six addresses to send off to. Um, I need to finish my junk journal cover. I'm sure there's more. I just can't think what it is. So I'll leave that for now. I want to make some more tabs for my journal. <laughs> right. But for now, I am going to go and see my mama and do some cleaning down the road. So, take these guys and I will see you in the evening edition.